Genet has been a, a multicultural city since the 16th, 17th century. Um, in terms of, of the ancient city of Genet, there's, uh, while well, you have uh, soldiers coming down from Morocco, you have Berber traders, uh, you have local populations, you have a, a wonderful Arab trade going on, you have uh, Fulani traders. So this, this was really a, a really multicultural center for, uh, for many, many, many years. The uh, mosque that we see here was uh, at least said to have been built on the site of, of a palace of the King of Janae who converted to Islam in the 13th century. And uh, from a, an African perspective, what we can talk about is that it, it mixes a lot of local architectural traditions and uh, some, some more regional ones. So we can talk about uh, the Moroccan influence, certainly. Uh, this is up in Morocco, and we have these fortified houses that are also adobe brick that are plastered with mud. and. Uh, the, the facades themselves uh, resemble gateways of uh, these Moroccan walled towns that are called Ksar. And we can see that the, that, that uh, kind of approach gets brought into our architecture at Genet. Uh, we can also look at more sort of uh, local approaches to architecture. This is from the Bamana people uh, in uh, the southern parts of Mali. And we can see we're, we're using similar materials here. And I just want us to uh, be aware of those uh, projections at the top that we see all across the mosque at Genet. And in local uh, vernacular, those sort of uh, phallus shapes, the, the way that one would describe the parts of a house are linked with, uh, with those projections and are viewed as either male or female in the way that they are uh, kind of symbolized there. And those projections are also seen in the local houses at Janae, not just the mosque itself. Uh, we can look at another local culture, the Dogon, and we can see we have these wonderful projections coming out. And those are uh, known as Toron, T-O-R-O-N. And those are elements that have been uh, part of local architecture for, for many, many centuries, coming from the Songhai Empire, which was active in this part of the world uh, from, what, the 16th century. And they're both aesthetic, but they also aid with making repairs. You can climb up and stand on them to replaster. So they have an aesthetic, formal, and also a function to them. Uh, the facades, uh, especially with the Dogon, are the places where sacrifices are made. So there is this sort of uh, religious significance with those elements there, kind of a nice link. And then we can also look at these structures, again, with the Bamana people, local culture. These are made for uh, young men. These are sort of communal houses for groups of young men who are progressing to adulthood together as a unit. And they reside in these saho, and then after uh, they go through this educational process, the structure itself is kind of left to decay, which is, uh, again, we're talking about the same types of materials that we see at Janae. Uh, Janae is being renewed and revitalized. Um, but again, we can talk about, look at the uh, upper portion there, some nice connections with local architecture. And then if we talk about the mosque itself, we can talk about the kind of square towers in the front, and we have these uh, sort of engaged columns there. The pillars are always, uh, at least across the facade, in fives, five being very significant in Islam, the five fingers of uh, Fatima. It's a uh, sort of a um, protective number, protective figure in Islamic numerology. And the other significant thing that, that we can talk about uh, on the uh, Qibla wall, uh, across the back, uh, at, at the top of each of those little projections, there's a stick with an ostrich egg sticking on top of it, okay? And the ostrich egg there um, is being linked with the cosmos and with cosmology, local cosmology, also because it uh, has this whiteness and it's kind of moon-like and also linked with fertility. So we can talk about sort of overt and maybe a little bit more uh, covert additions, uh, locally speaking, that, that um, kind of give rise to what we see here.